Okay, so this is a colony, James Lee's bees. This colony is a high VSH colony survivor stock in the daughter. Um, it was requeened in the early spring. And uh, previously there were some concerns that all this uncapping was a failing queen laying drones um, or drone brood. So I want to show you that what is actually occurring here, let me get this in focus. What's actually occurring here is this is not drones. All right, I'm gonna open this cap right here up, which was similar to what was being addressed in the in a discussion. Okay, move. And I want everyone to take a look at this particular poop, pupa. Sorry, this particular pupa. That is not a drone, that is a worker. I'll go over here, and you can see here also, this is not a drone. These are workers. All right, this is uncapping behavior, late season. Nectar flow is slowing down. Hygienic behavior is going to increase in the colony. They're all drones. That's why they couldn't get them through the excluder. So they're removing drone. They're removing drone people. But we're on a flow right now, so it's not because it's a drone. No, it's because they got high viral load or mites. Yep. It's a VSH man. VSH man. It's a beautiful thing. Did you get get that stuck? We oh, left cool. the excluder. The excluders were left on from last night when we were catching drones. My wonderful wife was helping, and uh, she said she couldn't remember where the rest of the excluders were but we, <laughs> we just found out where they were but that's cool because they were wanting to remove these drones that's yeah, how many from good, yesterday a good example yeah the shbs work drones folks all right and this particular colony is three boxes high with a honey super three medium eights and they are just a touch um just a touch light on bees and the reason being is that there is an exceptional amount of uncapping, recapping behavior. So in these circumstances, truck going by, you may need to add some brood or a frame of brood in order to give them a decent boost to the population. But they're not horrible, okay? This particular colony is probably breeder stock. You're gonna wanna shoot for daughters uh, for production colonies or making grade for pollination, but this entire super is capped honey. So they did what they need to do for their survival. We've got a mite wash brewing over there. Um, and uh, I'll take a look at the results here. I see one, two. Two mites. And the tree guys are honking at me. I don't know why. Okay, this is another frame that I pulled out of this colony just to show you some of the um, brooding pattern. It is a good brood pattern. There is already some uncap recap going on and it is also not a drone. This is worker larva, worker comb, worker brood. You can see that the pattern is moving from this side to the interior. This is toward the back of the colony away from the full open entrance tends to be a little cooler here so it makes sense all right again um, it's a little dirty here in southeast Michigan and uh, a lot of the colonies in this whole entire yard I've been through all those behind me already those colonies are definitely pulling back on brood rearing um, because of, it is a little drier here there's not as abundant resources as far as nectar is concerned and so all of these colonies being locals are shutting down during the dearth if you will there's no read to, no no reason sorry no reason to be excessively brooding during this time, um, and they have more time to focus on hygienic behavior. James Lee's bees. Okay, I'm gonna check back on the mite wash and see where it's settled, and it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six varroa mite in the wash cup. You can take a look here for yourself in case you think I'm full of 
bologna sandwiches or liverwurst, whichever your fancy waste product is. Uh, some of the coloration on these are orangish instead of fully deep dark red, which means that the orangish colored ones, more palish colored ones are juvenile, uh, younger vera that could have been dis they could have been disrupted uh, by the hygienic behavior and they're typically either emerging too soon or not fully developed or one of the younger um, varroa from that particular hatch if you will and they may or may not make it likely they will fully develop and become um, reproductive or not depending on the disruption that's occurring in the colony i would say based on the totality of evidence the healthy brood frames the healthy brood pattern no discoloration of the pupa the super sensitive hygienic behavior with the uncapping and for me a low mite count um, six out of 300 is uh, below my threshold at five percent late august i would feel like that's a time you would want to be treating colonies um, because i am selecting for resistance but um, at this time of year i'm not super concerned about six mites um, especially with there not being a whole lot of brood um, in the colony only a couple of frames of cat brood or brood in process which tells me that you know they're obviously shutting down the brooding process which is also going to have an impact on the varroa development um, because there's so few mites there's going to be less mites reproducing the hygienic behavior is also impacting the mite reproduction uh, in you know randy oliver mentions this in one of his most recent talks but also you only need to reduce the varroa reproduction by half um, in order to maintain a healthy colony that can coexist with the with that primary parasite there all right so i'm gonna call it good and move on to the next colony So I'm in the breeder yard and these are recorded mite counts on colonies that were brought here earlier this season that had previously overwintered treatment free and also previously washed and previously harvo scored and met the criteria as breeders. Some of these are nukes, um, colonies that I've started mid season and brought here from the same stock off the breeder of Queens or inseminated breeders. And you'll see that the counts here have two numbers, M1 or M2. M1 means it's the first mite wash. M2 means that's the second re-rinse of the same sample to make sure all the mites got off the colony, or I'm sorry, off the, off the sample. And uh, you'll see some of these started as early as June and continue to wash zeros, zeros, two. This one was a five, slightly spicy although I was working it pretty late at night. Uh, but yeah, these colonies are all still holding their own here in the beginning of August. So 